Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking into the conjugation rules of adjectives uh, that we started the last week. So this is in page number 60 of uh, the material given in the description box. You can go ahead and download it if you are interested in looking into the material yourself. So into our lesson. So we have a table given here. Um, beware, this is just a small part of the whole table. You have uh, the leftover part of the table in the next page. So this is a list of the commonly seen adjectives, the different forms that is a written and spoken form and both present tense and past tense of each of those forms. So uh, the first one, hi. Hi is nopta, nopa, nopata, nopaso. Uh, if you look carefully into the adjectives that I am reading out, you can see that there are some patterns to the different uh, forms that is a uh, present spoken form or present written form or past spoken form or past written form, whatever it is, you can see patterns happening there and uh, the change is happening according to those patterns. And if you notice those patterns, you can also see that it is according to those patterns that the conjugation rules work. Of course, we'll be going into those conjug uh, conjugation rules uh, in detail later. So, low. That, uh, so, if you look here, you'll see that we'll be seeing one word and the next word will probably, for the most part, be the opposite of the word before that. So, low will be natta, naja, najatta, naja, so. Then big or large would be kuda, ko, kotta, koso. This is about uh, big or large. If you're talking about height, somebody's height, it would be ki. Literally ki. Ki would be height. So if you're saying that somebody is tall, then it would be ki kun sara. So you're literally using this height that is ki and uh, the kun is uh, the descriptive form of the kuda adjective and sara means person. So ki kun sara means tall person. You're literally saying height big person. Height big person is a tall person. So that's how you would, you would say tall person. We'll be learning more uh, into the descriptive forms of adjectives in our coming lessons. So back to our table. So next is small. Since we had big, it's small now. Small is chakta, chaga, chagatta, chagasa. Spacious. Norta, noribo, noribotta, noribosso. Then crammed, chopta, choba, chobatta, chobasso. Many. Many, this can be in uh, quantity. Uh, or even if you're uh, talking about your feelings, something like, mani sohunesso. Sohunada means uh, disappointed. So, mani sohune so means very disappointed. So, you can use mani or mantha in that sense too. So, many, mantha, mana, manatta, mana, so. Then, small, chokta, chogo, chogotta, chogo. So, be careful. This is only for quantity. You wouldn't use it in any other sense. Then kind, chakada, chakke, chaketta, chakesso. Fast, parada, palla, pallata, pallasso. This one we saw uh, in the last class. Then slow, nirida, nirio, niriyatta, niriyasso. This was also something that I showed you in the last class. 
देन इजी शिवत शिव शिवत्त शिवस्स डिफिकल्ट ओरप्ता ओरवो ओरोत्त ओरोस्स देन डिफिकल्ट yeah uh, dif- we finished with difficult and the next one is enjoyable or interesting so that is jemita what you have to see here is that jemi also means fun when it comes alone so when you're saying jemita you're literally saying there is fun so that's what makes it interesting or enjoyable सो झेमिता झेमे स झेमे सत्ता झेमे सस नेक्स्ट वन न्यू सेरोपता सेरो सेरोपता सेरो स हॉट लाइक समथिंग इज हॉट टच इन दैट केस यू वुड से तुगपता तुगो तुगोता तुगो स न कोल्ड टू टच दैट वुड बी छागपता छागाओ छागाता छागाओ स लाइक इवन इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट some kind of food or like the water you're drinking like you're drinking it and it's cold or hot and then you would use either tagapta or chagapta now tatthada tatthada is warm then tatthe tatthetta tatthetheso cool shivanada shivane shivanetta shivaneso wonderful khwengjangada khwengjange khwengjangetta khwengjangesso if you're saying that you're feeling cold that would be chupta if you're uh, saying that you're feeling hot then that would be dhopta chupta and dhopta that's the uh, like you can say in kind of weather climate sense in that sense you can use it you wouldn't use tagatta or chagatta in that kind of sense and to say that a person's attitude is cold in that case also you could use chagatta next is a uh, beautiful aramdapta aramdao aramdaota aramdaos honest solchikada solchike solchiketta solchikesso for kind you can uh, say chinjor hada like we saw chakada uh, earlier but another word is also there as it is a synonym and that is chinjor hada so it would be chinjore chinjoretta chinjoresso then lovely sarangsero ta sarangsero sarangsero ta sarangsero so humble khyomjanada khyomjane khyomjaneta khyomjanesso so these are the different uh, like some of the commonly used adjectives of course there are a lot more that you would encounter once you learn uh, more into the language and then uh, you have uh, a lot of conjugation rules regarding how um, these different forms work and change it is actually just one conjugation rule and uh, you have about five exceptions for those rules when you are converting present written form into past written form the same way you would have another set of conjugation rules when it comes to spoken form So uh I hope you understood the pronunciation of all the words given here and that is the reason why I went through each and every languages I mean each and every words given here and even offered synonyms because you need to be clear with the pronunciations before you get into anything of course your pronunciation would get better with time but practice the pronunciation first and i suggest as usual try to make sentences in your own conversations those help a lot and try to think in the language you are trying to learn no, i'm not talking about translating stuff in your own head i am telling you to try and take the process of translating away from the from your head and let yourself think wrong even if you don't realize that 
what you're thinking is wrong, it's absolutely all right as long as you uh, think the meaning you want to think. So try thinking in the language that you're learning. Helps a lot to learn a new language. As for the conjugation rules, I'll be going into that uh, in the next class. I did plan to take it. Uh, I mean, um, teach that in this class, but uh, I think it would be a bit too much since you need to get your tongue used to the pronunciation before anything else works. So hope you get that right and if you have any doubts as usual put it in the comment box I'll be checking all of them and replying to all of them personally so see you in the next class